Hey guys, Fee Freak 509 as you can see by the title of this video guys, I done the third episode of Trading for Dummies and a lot of people, you know, enjoy this series because it helps them out on how to trade and stuff like that. So in this episode we're taking a look at the individual player method, which I'll explain um, later because it's the second method. And the first method, it's not really a method, it's just inform investing and you know um, a few good players that you can invest in in this team of the week and the ones that you shouldn't look out for for you know various reasons and you might be thinking what the hell has he have 460,000 coins already but the main reason is because I've sold every single thing in my club so I can try to get that Aguero um, the inform version as you can see um, I'm trying to buy this one over here for you know about 450,000 coins if I can and um, you know I want to try him out and that's actually one of the players that I do recommend to invest in in this team of the week just for the main fact that EA don't really you know, give high rated um, informs to players in the team of the week from the BPL and stuff like that. It's sort of just like a little bit of a trend because in FIFA 12, Aguero did, you know, quite well, but he only managed to get one inform and then he got a team of season, but that inform that he did have, it was absolutely insane. And I remember it was in like the first few weeks. I never got to actually try it out, but um, I got to try out the upgraded card when it did come out, but, um, you know, it was absolutely insane and he was going for, you know, 1.2 million at one point and I actually saw one go for like 1.7 million. It was so rare and you know We'll get into the video now and um, The you know good players to invest in so let's find the team of the week and click on it. It's just loading up um, EA server is a bit laggy at the moment because so many people are you know playing the game because it's just come out and um, So the first two players I'm going to talk about are these two guys actually three guys over here, but um, What league is this guy playing? Um, yeah, I can't really see, but whatever league this guy does play in, I think it is the second League of BVA league, so it's not, um, like a good one that I would actually, like, you know, recommend to do. So, yeah, but these two guys over here, Lucas Piazon and this Australian guy called Cruz who plays in the Bundesliga, you know, absolutely fantastic. This guy has four-star skills, a little bit of a letdown on his weak foot, but, um, other than that, he looks like a beast card, and I'm looking forward to, you know, trying this guy out, and I will probably buy him because he's from Australia. And that's where I live, so I want to, you know, sort of just uh, buy him for fun and stuff like that. Lucas Piazon is another good one, just because for the main fact, these two, because they can't get another silver in form because they're already rated 74, but they can get a gold one. But the thing is, normally, silver in form, for some reason, just because they're rarer, they go for, you know, more coins and stuff like that. So these two good ones um, are a very good one, actually, to, you know, invest in. And now getting into the golds, Friedel. Um, is that Friedel? Let's take a look. No, it's Brad Guzon. Um, yeah, that's not a good one. Same as uh, the center back over here. Alaba, he's sort of an okay one, but the thing is, he is expected to get more informs because he's such a beast player in real life, and, you know, he's an upcoming talent and stuff like that. Leighton Baines also. This is actually a good one because um, EA, for some reason, don't really, you know, give informs to left backs in Ultimate Team. Like Patrice Ever last year, I think he was the only informed left back in the BPL who went for, you know, about above 50,000 coins and stuff like that. Isco, a very bad one also, just because, you know, he's going to get another inform. It's already obvious because this guy is, you know, so good in real life. Pedro's another bad one. The best three ones, um, I would say in this team of the week, are the Aguero and those two Silvers. And an extra one that you could put in there, sorry, could be this Melito because I have heard that he's an absolute beast of a card. And, you know, these cards, um, this team of the week, you know, it's quite decent. And a few of the players I'm looking forward to using especially this Aguero over here, and I will be buying it very shortly. And if you guys want to see a review on it or something like that, um, I probably won't be the best in reviews, but you know, I could give it a go and see how it goes, and if you guys enjoy. So if you guys do want to see that, leave a comment below, and you know, I'll try my best to sort of uh, see how to do reviews and stuff like that. Okay, so for the next method, it's called the individual player method, and basically I use this a lot, and you sort of saw an example with the Kabuls that I showed in my trade pile. Um, and a watch list so basically um, all you need to do is just pick a player in your price range that you can afford and just find out his uh, you know price lowest buy now on the market and we'll be using silver and distan in this instance just because I want to get a cheap one in there um, for you guys that don't really have that many coins so we'll just you know find out the lowest buy now and I'll be showing you guys you know what to bid on him and how to you know make a little bit of profit so 800 we'll just put it down to 750 and see if any come up so yeah, no, 800 is a loss, I think, yeah, 800 is a loss, so you want to be looking to get yours for about 700 coins and list them up for 800 coins, and they should sell very quickly because 
This guy's, you know, quite a sought after BPL player just because he's in the BPL and he's got good, de uh, good pace, good defending, and you know, good stats all around. So we we'll just put a f seven, seven hundred, yeah, let's say seven hundred uh, max price. And as you can see, a whole lot of them do pop up, and it's very easy to make, you know, coins using this. And I'll put a few bids on this because I can make a few coins. So um, I'll just put all these bids, and um, I'll put bids on about thirty of them. Not, not thirty. I'll put about 10 to 15 and I'll show you guys um, when I come back on how many I win and how much do you like I sell them for and stuff like that so um, I'll see you guys basically like after that okay guys so I'm back and let's take a look at how many the stands that we won so as you can see on the first page we've won three so far and we'll go on to the next page and take a look and we've won two over here so it's not too bad as you can see we won about five out of 10 so you know that's good trading to see because um, in trading you're not really like looking to get every single player but you know pick out the good ones um, which can you know make the most profit with so obviously we're not going to make any profit on this one I'm not too sure why anyone would bid 1.2k on it it's not like I even had any more contracts or anything person probably gone like a bidding war or something but um you know it's an easy method to use and I will be able to sell on all these distance about 800 to 850 coins so you know it's nice to see and maybe if I get lucky I could sell one for 1.2k or something like that if someone got in a bidding war so if this video helped you out a like would be appreciated and until next time have a nice day and bye